Previously on Survivor Yukon. The tribes merged at nine, forming the new Rai tribe, consisting of Alex, Catherine, CJ, Earl, Eric, Erica, Lindsay, Mark, and Rath. I'm just glad we're at the merge. Yeah, bro. Oh. Um, at least everyone's kind of in till like the end. Yeah. After Lindsay won the first immunity challenge, it seemed like it was the Sapalos and Eric versus the remaining Cassins, with CJ being the target to go while being homesick and because of his big idol play. I was glad we were merged, but concerned because obviously Eric had flipped and it kind of seemed like 5 4 we were in the minority. Like it was Raph, CJ, me, and Catherine, and the five of them. So then I won immunity and it was like, okay, I'm safe, but next week I'm probably screwed. So there was definitely some concern at first. In the end, CJ's connections with Earl proved stronger than Alex's, causing Eric to go home in a 5-4 split. Eighth person voted out Survivor Yukon and the first member of our jury, Eric. That's awesome. Sorry to say, that is enough for a night. Thank you, Eric. You can drop it. Eight or left. Who will be voted out tonight? If, if I, you did, I, just tell me. Dude, we've been in alliance since the beginning of the game. Yeah, but okay? this is scary. I did not vote. We've been I in alliance. Like, CJ. all of us have been in I alliance. I voted for CJ. I talked to you, and I was like, you're right. CJ's a great idea, and I voted for CJ. Have Ooh. you talked to them? Like, Yes. Who fucking have you talked to? Catherine's crying. Yeah, she's she's so annoying. I who have you talked to? Okay, so I think the reason Because Catherine told me she was meeting with you after she met with me. Okay, so I think the reason that Raph didn't vote with us is because he didn't want CJ to go. He wanted Eric or Catherine to go. Uh-huh. And he was Is like, that what he told you? Yeah. And he didn't... And when when I said that the vote was going to CJ, he's like, fuck that. I don't want to vote for CJ. I want someone like Eric gone. And what'd you say? I said that, like, people didn't want to vote Eric out. But then someone fucking turncoated. And honestly, came down to Earl and Catherine. At, at this point, Earl is just gonna do whatever I told him to, because I mean, he was—he didn't know what was going on. He just—he just wanted to—he just wanted to vote on my side. So I knew it was gonna be four on my side and four against me. It all honestly came down to Catherine. I was petrified that Catherine was gonna just do a little flip flop, but uh, she obviously proved her loyalty to me. So. I was definitely very happy with that. I mean, she wasn't happy with Eric at all. I mean, she's, she, I mean she told him she would kick him in the cunt. So, I mean, I was assuming that she was going to vote with me, but I didn't know from a game perspective she saw it a little different. By some miracle, Earl and Catherine, neither one of them voted. Earl flipped and Catherine stuck with us. So, Eric was gone. Mark was pissed. But the aftermath was silent. Um, I went to the, I went to the restroom and then I got back and apparently I missed a lot. So I'm not really a reliable source for that one, <laughs> but apparently a lot of things went down and I was just like, ooh, I just got told to vote for Eric. That's all I'm saying.
Individual immunity, back up for grabs. Um, unfortunately, CJ is still um, dead, so uh, CJ won't be able to participate in this one. Um, he'll probably feel better by the next one, maybe. I don't know. He's pretty dead, though, so he can't be here. But anyways, this one CJ can't compete in. But for today's challenge, the challenge is called uh, Going Nuts. I'm so funny. Anyways, so, um, you want to... Look at that. Look at that. He's the skill moves. The way this is gonna work, you're trying to stack the nuts. So you're gonna you're gonna have a <laughs> Thank you, Captain. Can I can I get through it? Alright. So what we're gonna have to start, it's gonna be a 10 minute timer. You, you have the nut, you have one to start. Besides the initial nut, you can't like place them on top of each other with your hand. You have to place them on the ground, take the chopstick and put it down like that. So you can do that, then you, you can move this one wherever, but you can't like move it to touch that. You have to put it down, put the chopstick, do that, repeat. You each have 10 nuts, so if someone gets all 10 nuts stacked, they're the first one to do that on a count, after a count off of three, you have an individual immunity. Um, if not, whoever is the highest tower after 10 minutes without falling, whoever is the highest tower at that 10 minute mark. So if say you have like eight, you can just leave it there. And just, if you wait till someone catches up or if you want to put more, it doesn't matter. Whoever is the highest after those 10 minutes. All right, we got 10 minutes on the clock. I'll know if we got no on the clock. So I'm ready. Go! I think it's underneath your bandana. No. Oh, there it is. Thank you.
Yeah, yeah I'm pointing something out you didn't see. Alright, you're welcome. Raf giving up, frustrated. I don't think I've seen anyone with seven yet. Right now, Erica's holding strong with six. Just under six minutes left here. Don't, don't tell me the three that's in the lead is like girls. They are. The girl is still killing you guys. Captain loses it. I got too eager. <laughs> Lindsay and Erica. Uh, no, Erica has six, so it's Lindsay in the lead. Oh. Still with seven. Lindsay won the last challenge. Rap. Very frustrated. Oh. Rap is funny. He got six. You need one more. He, he walked away exasperated. Yeah, Lindsay has seven, so they won that. How much time? We have three and a half minutes left. Do you think the seven's good? Not anymore. As Erica matches her right Erica there. matches the seven. Is Erica and Lindsay going into a potential tiebreaker now? Kathy, not there yet. Put her seventh on. Lindsay trying for an eighth. She's trying for the dub. We got just under 40 seconds left. Lindsay's shaking a lot. Lindsay, go for tiebreaker. It's like Lindsay's going for the win. We have 25 seconds left. Lindsay holds off. It looks like we might be going to a tiebreaker. Between Lindsay and Erica and Raph. We got 10, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. I got, got one. <laughs> Erica, tiebreaker again. And then okay. that. All right, tiebreaker challenge between Lindsay, Erica, and she Raph. Said the same thing. I was yeah, first to six. Survivors ready. Go. I feel bad for it. I feel bad for me too. Yeah, Lindsay and Erica are going to be the first to Oh, close. It's close. Yeah. Lindsay and Erica are neck and neck. Raph's slightly behind. Always. 
Dean Eric got the four. Lindsay a little ahead. Lindsay is going to five. Lindsay is five. Lindsay going rap. for six. That's a quick rap five. Rap. For six. It's That's a quick close. six rap. That's a quick Eric six rap. Eric has it first. Eric wins immunity. Erica, here we go. Erica with a guaranteed spot in the final seven. Earl, do you know what happened? Okay, so we were like talking about what, like who the fuck flipped, and it wasn't you. So it was Erica then. Like, did anyone come to you and like tell you like to vote for Eric at all? Yeah. Erica brought it up to you. Like when? Sorry if I'm like talking like in really because I'm just like really like flustered. So Erica, like, she told you to like vote. Did she like like when did she bring that up? Is that like Do you wanna call Mark too and like meet with him just so we can talk about it? Or like I can I can text him because he's like he's like he's like in South right now, so I can just bring him. So how you doing Mark? <laughs> Um, I've been better. Definitely yeah. been better, you know? <laughs> Especially with, uh, what's going on this week, so... Look, at least, uh, it doesn't look like we're going home. You don't think so? No. <laughs> oh, thank God, dude. I thought for sure I was going home. I don't think he's, he like... I think Earl is being, like, really paranoid right now. You think Earl is? Like... Okay, so I talked to him, right? Mm -hmm. Like, after. So I wanted to get in his head. He didn't respond to me for a couple days, because I think he was mad at me. He was mad for, like, at me? Okay, so like, did you confront him? Like, he know? was like, Alex, I'm gonna give you an idol, and then he goes to his room and he can't find his idol. So he found the idol. He did. Yeah, but then he lost the idol. Earl. <laughs> and then he messages Ryan. He's like, Ryan, so if I lose an idol, can I get another one? And I'm like, Earl, you're not gonna get another idol. Earl. So he lost the idol. So he doesn't have an idol. Why did he not? Oh, I can't believe he would get. Like he was getting. He like, gave me the idol hand. We walked for like an hour looking for it, and he didn't tell me that. Like, oh, that snake. He had it. Yeah, the that's whole why time. I didn't like know what to say to you when you said that because I knew that he. Oh had it. my god! It, it was. That's why he gave it to me is because he's I'm like, sure I know was, we won't it was find like it. The spot like in the park area, like behind the Benton. Yeah, yeah. that's where I looked because I was like, like, oh, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. You know, I met with Earl and Alex after the vote, trying to figure out who flipped, who flipped. And uh, I like got up at one point to go get food, and I guess while I was up, Alex was like talking to Earl, and Earl was like, "Should I tell him about the idol that I have?" And Alex was like, "What?" <laughs> and so um, Earl had been lying to me about the idol the whole time, and so Alex like didn't tell me that night, but he told me like a couple days later. He's like, "Hey, by the way, like Earl hasn't told you about it, but like he has the idol. Like we know he has the idol." And then he's like, "But." He lost it because apparently he and Alex were like talking and he like Earl got really upset because he was like Captain's playing me or whatever and so he was like I'll just give you the idol Alex and then they like went to his room couldn't find the idol so we just laughed it off we were like alright well we'll just tell people he has the idol anyways okay so I've like I've heard a lot of stuff like especially stuff that Catherine's been doing. Uh huh. Like, what has she been saying? Like, she's been talking to you. Are you looking at your eyes? <laughs> what? So, like, Catherine told Mark that you told her to vote for Eric. Catherine told Mark that I told. Her. What the? F yeah. And then Mark was oh, like, no. Mark was like, what do you mean? And then she's like, yeah. I'm pretty sure, like, either, like, that you flipped or that he, she thought that you and me both flipped. 
and I just wanted to let him vote for CJ or something. So did you actually mm. vote for Eric, though? No! Like, you, like I don't care if you did, because I wanted him to go home, so no. if you did, just tell me. I voted for CJ. Like... Because, like, I'm... I, that, like, scares me that she's saying that. She was all like, but yeah, thank you for last night. And I hope you let me play the game with you for however long you left on here. So the fact that she's putting words in my mouth, it's kind of pissing me off. So you swear to God that it was Eric. Why would I vote out Eric? What the hell? I don't know, but that's what like she's been telling people. Mark's like freaking okay, out. Okay, I don't care. But like Mark's like freaking out. Like we're still vote with you, obviously. We just know, don't know what to do with Erica. So, what do you want to do about Catherine? I'm, a, I'm getting her out. Yeah. She's going out. <laughs> and we have to we have to plant a fake idol and humiliate her. Yes. <laughs> I wanted Doug to I play him so you, bad. So. I trusted you. I told you him said that I'm safe. How do you even know that? Like, okay, well, cause because Raph literally told me he's like, yeah, like I've heard your name going around. Like it looks like you're on the chopping block this week. Immediately, we know that we wanted Erica. We wanted Erica, but she wanted Unity, so that's not an option. So we went with. The second option, which is Mark, so everyone's on the same page. Mark's going home, so the five that voted. Um, Lindsay, CJ, Catherine, myself, and Earl was voting for Mark. The moment that a few weeks ago, uh, ago Earl said to me, Catherine, you know, I've got a secret to tell you. And I'm like, really, what is it? And he's like, well, I heard from, a, from somebody on Zapala. I heard from Doug before he left that Alex may have an idol. And the moment he said that, I'm like, okay, yeah, you're pulling some sort of bullshit on me. You're trying to either protect the fact yourself, uh, yourself that you've got some more sort of idol, or you're trying to protect the fact that somebody else has an idol. Here's, cause here's the thing, you're not going to give me information about people who you have unanimous, unanimously been voting with. Because you're not that stupid. Because if you were that, if, if you were that stupid, you wouldn't be social with everybody. And like, it's been a running joke that Earl is everybody's friend. And so, as much as I do have fun with them, I'm like, can't help but give him like a disappointed mother kind of attitude whenever we are talking about game. Cause I think he knows that I know that he's sketchy. And we always say stuff like, oh, I'm sorry that we can't play this game together, or oh, God, I wish this would work out for us, and stuff like that. So, yeah, I would never trust Earl with my game. And so, I have this clue, and I'm thinking to myself, how can I use this to my advantage? So, of course, I'm going to give one look at the Benton Art Museum just for shits and giggles to see if for some fucking reason all my perceptions are false and there actually is an idol there that Earl only shared with me and of course fucking not. Um, but I did decide, I, at that point I knew that Earl shared a glue with Raph because Raph told all of us. Lindsay and I convinced Earl to vote for Eric but then he showed the, the glue to myself before and but he showed it to Lindsay as well, so I'm like, oh, yeah, we trust this guy. And then I, after the child, after the nuts challenge when Erica won, I just um, message him, and I think he's on board with Mark. But then I asked on Sunday and asked him, hey, are you, are we still good with the votes? He did not respond. I don't know why. He's being very ske sketchy for some reason. Um, he just said yes. Sorry, I just saw this. 
I was like, um, so I was like, okay, I was still going for it. Well, 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 from then, but after that, I was actually meeting up with Alex, and Alex confirmed to me that Earl actually showed Alex the clue. So I was spoken to Mark earlier today as well. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, I'm gonna meet up with Alex because I really like Mark as well. Yeah. I like them too. He's a good guy. Yeah. So I was like, nah, I don't really like um, I don't really want to vote for him. So I proposed this idea. I don't know if he told you already. Uh, about Earl. Earl. Yeah. Because I'm scared about that dude right now. I feel like he's playing everyone's mind. Yeah, he's kind of going crazy. Like, like he's got I mean, like. I feel like he has the idol. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this vote I was I've been championing to get try to get Mark out for the longest time, and just no one wa no one wants to do it. And I, I just think he's a huge threat in this game. We all found out that Earl was sending everyone on the whole game the like the idol clue. So and he was claiming that all these other people had the idol. But when you're sending the clue to everyone, everyone realizes that you have the clue and that you have the best chance to have it. So they were just getting really skeptical. I was trying to convince them. I didn't want to expose that me and Earl were working together. So I tried to keep it on like the down low. Like I tried to defend them and be like, Earl's like a number for us. Like why are we voting out a number for us when in reality, like Mark's not on our side. So like, it just didn't make a lot of sense to me. So 10 minutes before tribal, Raph was like, come meet me in the union. He like caught me up on everything. And then Raph had tried to get CJ and I to vote Earl before that, like a few hours before that. And CJ kept shutting it down, shutting it down, shutting it down. I think part of it is CJ like personally wants to get rid of Mark because Mark's gone after him multiple times. But at the same time too, it was kind of weird because Raph and I were like, Earl's not answering anyone. And then within like 10 minutes of us saying that, CJ was like, no, like I think like, I haven't talked to him, but I think we can trust him. I think we can trust him. And then Earl texted us. So, that was a little fishy to me, but I'm not reading into it too much because you can't, like, you can only be so paranoid. So I'm absolutely concerned going into this boat. Uh, I never feel safe. Uh, it concerns me that Mark hasn't reached out to me. Who knows, he could have Raph on his side, he could have CJ, he could have Lindsay. Uh, I really don't trust Earl to stay on our side because he really has no reason to stay on our side. And the fact that Mark and Alex and everybody weren't scrambling to try and get any vote together, that tells me that they feel comfortable with the fact that they still have Earl. So. I would not be surprised if I go home tonight. Uh, hopefully it's Mark instead of me. Uh, could be anybody, really. I just really hope uh, Earl does not play an idol, and if he does play an idol, it gets flushed on the wrong person. All right, welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to Final Eight. So, one merge vote in. We had a very close vote last time, 5-4. Lots of drama happening. So, what happens? Anyone want to tell me why it became such a disaster? Any, any, anyone want to voice their pleasure or displeasure? We're two legend tribes. Like, so you have yeah. two We're going to be a little divided. It's a crazy game. And you gave us two <laughs> days to figure out what to do. And you're gonna get two days again after this. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it. And then you have like ten days, so woo. Erica, you want immunity? You got the immunity trouble. Do you think you needed this round after what happened um, last vote? I don't know, but like it definitely feels good for this to be on my neck right now. Because it kind of takes away the stress a little bit for a week at least. So I'm happy nice for this time at least. Are we more like two, a few days? Yeah. <laughs> a few days. Yeah, we're it's not just, talking I'm weeks anymore. All, you know, all around campus. Yeah, just showing it off. <laughs> um, CJ, you received four votes last tribal. Again. 
That's two in a row. Yeah. Why, why are you so popular? It's like, I, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was, a little, I, was a, I was a little nervous, but uh, I'm still here. You know? I'm still playing. Do you think you're just going to keep getting votes, or do you think the tides are turning in that sense? Well, I certainly hope not, but, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Alright, Lindsay, you've seen One Idol play this game, CJ, with the big spike. Yeah. Are there, <laughs> are there more idols around, or are you guys worried about it? I'm just going to keep bringing it up. Is it a topic, or, or is it, are there still bigger priorities out there? It's Survivor. potential idol makes a higher percentage of the people see. So it's you know it's a thought always. Of course. Mark. Um what's the mood around here? Is it is it as as crazy as the first vote was or, or is it calmer? Or is it just um, as hectic for everyone? You know, it's survival. It's, it's it's pretty hostile. Um, did you guys all like, <laughs> like scheme against me before tribal? What's that? Everyone scheme against me, get the most generic answer. I think together. everyone's voting you out this tribal. Uh, that's not, uh, not allowed. That was not a surprise. <laughs> but no, I think yeah, I think every week's a different week. It's always there's always stuff going on. There's always a lot of things in the background going on. So we'll see what happens. So Raph. I think everyone has the idea. You were, you were one of the people that voted for the majority last round. So, like, um, does that make you feel okay this round? Or does that, like, if we were just going by the last vote, it was 5-4. If everyone stuck to the same votes, it would be 5-3, someone of the three. Do you think that makes you feel good? Or do you think... Yeah, for sure. It's like, percent-wise, I'd say like 75% sure. Like, I'm safe. But... You never run in this game because, you know. Where'd you get that percentage? What math are you doing? <laughs> you know, 75%, uh, like, I'd say, but like 25% of me is like telling me, it's like, no, you're going home tonight. Like, like last week, I thought I was like, oh shit, it was like 20% I'm going home. Like, um, so who knows? It, this game is like crazy. <laughs> Catherine, you and Mark had a bit of a discussion after trial. What was that about? <laughs> I was cranky and tired, and I wanted to. I'm both very cranky. Well, what were you guys saying? <laughs> what were you guys ha talking about? Well, so everyone was here. I was so a neurotic not, mess last week. Well, CJ was not here, but like okay, so, he could have been here. Alright, so. so I was a neurotic mess last week, even more so of a neurotic mess than I usually am, and so. I'm a little sad boy, and then I'm like, okay, I'm going to prepare to go home, because it's like, really at this point, it's like, oh yeah, I made jury, and I could still be sad about going home, and so, I did make my, so, I actually made a round of apologies, I made, I made an apology to Mark, uh, just in case I rubbed him the wrong way, because I know he like, he like, he teased me a little, and like, Mark, can you me. confirm this apology? It was, it was very hard. I apologize to Erica for taunting her during the food challenge, and I apologize to Erica. <laughs> 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 what did you eat? <laughs> 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 It was a place of competition and spirit. It just came out, right? Yeah. Yeah. You have your sound effect to like, you not swear when it's picked out. No, but I will never eat. I don't know if we'll bleep that. Well, well, we might bleep out that one. Yeah. But so when I was doing my apologies, Mark reached out because, like, might as well take pity on me. And then he met up for dinner with me and he threw out a name, like, threw out a few names. Funnily enough, none of the names that were, were from Cassin. And the one he said go with was. Eric, and so I'm like, okay, might as well do that, because I'm pretty sure that the other cast and peeps weren't a fan of Eric because Eric was buddy buddy with Mark. And so I'm like, okay, maybe if I do this thing, I might gain another week. I can say at least it was the second member of jury, not the first. And then apparently they. 
put up with, they saw my neuroticism and said, oh my god, this chick's fucking pathetic. And so they decided to put the vote towards CJ instead of me. Mark, any insight? <laughs> <laughs> what is neuroticism? I don't know, Catherine, can you explain? That's like emotional, crazy, uh, extra. Mm -hmm. I don't think it was that. What'd you think of that? I just think, uh, I don't know. Mark it's collapsing. Okay, I call myself never right. <laughs> no, it's just. I don't know, we change our mind. Change sometimes mind. you change your mind, sometimes you're trying to make different plays. I don't know. It happens. Earl, how you doing, buddy? I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> how are you feeling game wise, Earl? How do you, feel, how do you think the game's going as a whole for everyone? For you, you personally? Um, I think it's going okay. That's great, Earl. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> All right, I think we got. Good Maybe if you didn't ask generic questions, you wouldn't well, have to. You need to ask generic questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I, I, still I, still still I got one for Alex. You did right. You did write one. I did forget about it because it was like half scribbled, but we got one. I swear to God, this is a terrible question. Alex, are Sapala cast and Lime still thinking? Oh my both, God! Are both <laughs> <still thinking? laughs> You know, we're gonna be the question. I still got one coming. What do you want me to ask, Alex? Do you think you're screwed? Obviously, <laughs> the, the lines are blurred. Alex, what do you we, want? What do you Derek want? Derek didn't vote himself out in the last tribal council, Ryan. Alex, what do you want to talk about tonight? Any good, any good music you've listened to? Let's go to the vote. How much we get? Yeah. How much we get? Are you enjoying like, anything? 12 o'clock today. <laughs> Is there something built up here? <laughs> I'm sensing a lot of tension. Yeah. Is there an elephant in the room? I want to go to the bathroom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, shit. Whoa. That was the elephant. Alright, I think with that <laughs> beautiful note, I think we're ready to vote. Erica, you have immunity this week. If you want to give it to someone, you can. Otherwise. All right, Eric, Erica is immune this week. You can't vote for Erica. Everyone else is fair game. Raph, you're up first. Yes, I'm up first. This one's been a long time coming. But, uh, wait, who am I voting for? Oh, right, right, right. Okay, okay. Tip fuck, I'm gonna tip fuck you in the ass. God damn it, shit. Um, all right, all right, guys. If anyone has to do mute out, I'd like to play it. Now would be the time to do so. Votes. smoke. Mark. One vote, Mark. Second vote. Earl. One vote, Mark. One vote, Earl. Third vote. Mark. Two votes, Mark. Fourth vote. Mark. That's three votes, Mark. One vote, Earl. Earl. That's three votes Mark, two votes Earl. Six vote. Earl. We're all tied up. Three Mark, three Earl. Seventh vote. Earl. And the ninth person voted out and the second member of our jury. Squirrel. Earl. <laughs> I'm sorry, but tonight five's enough. Please bring me your bandana. Sorry, Earl, but the tribe is spoken. Come on, head that way. Alright, more surprises, I think, for this tribal council. I think you guys haven't failed to deliver these first two votes. I think it's only going to get crazier from here. Next challenge. See you guys then. Did you think to play Ivor? I was going 
to. See, something was telling me to play it, and I wanted to. I don't care. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that episode. Um, I know it's tough to see Earl go down like that, but all I can say is it was entertaining. I hope you guys have been entertained by these last two merge votes. Um, the season only gets better from here. Um, I think this is definitely a really good merge and I hope you guys are excited to see the rest of it. Um, the next episode will be out in two weeks. Um, it'll be a Monday, um, and it's going to be a double episode, so final seven and final six votes. And then we're looking to have a five-person finale, so kind of speeding through this merge, but I think the way it's broken up will, will make sense once you see it all. But uh, yeah, so double boot episode in two weeks, and then the finale to be determined that'll definitely take a little longer and um after the double boot we'll start giving more updates about when that's looking like but yeah um definitely if you're if you know people that aren't caught up make sure to catch them up uh season will be wrapping up before we know it and i hope you guys are looking forward to the end of it i know i am and i'll see you guys the next episode bye